I perform, I feel just raw and naked and exposed. One of the reasons why I love music so much is that it is something that I can escape to no matter what else is going on in my life. My mother is a pianist, fantastic pianist, and she kind of started teaching me when I was five, six. I hated it. I thought it was the worst thing ever. When my mother decided to go back to school to finish her piano degree, she would let me come with her a lot of the times. So I would be at the university with her and be all around these awesome people that were making music, and I was like, oh, this is incredible. And so I would practice sometimes, but I still didn't really love it at that point, so I would spend a lot of time in the music library. This one day I was listening to a recording, um, Andre Watts, his Chopin recital recording, and he was playing the Chopin Sonata, and something inside me just changed. I had never heard anybody play piano like that. I had never heard someone play with that kind of intensity, that kind of passion, that kind of commitment, that kind of emotion. and. I had heard something I never heard before and all I wanted was more. And I wanted to make it. My mom, <laughs> you know, would get me a coffee in the morning and she would encourage me and she would drive me to lessons. I could never have succeeded or come even close to what I've done if she hadn't been there with me every step of the way through every competition that I won and every competition that I lost and every time I felt successful and every time I wanted to give up and it was always it was always her that was there and encouraging me through everything and I'm I would never be playing with Philip Glass if she hadn't done that for me it was very very random when I got the email from his agent asking me to play I thought it was some kind of a joke or something, you know, oh, hey, Philip Glass wants you to join him with this recital. Okay, sure, right, who is this? I am incredibly honored that he asked me to join him. Um, it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity um, for me, um, as well as for Phoenix, to have him here in our home and to be able to see him in person playing his own solo compositions, which is just an incredibly special treat for everyone that's going to be there. I absolutely believe that Philip Glass is that monumental, that is that life-changing and turning the history of music forever in a different direction. This is the 16th etude of Philip Glass's complete set of 20. This is the etude that I love the most. For me, it's kind of a love song to my husband and to my daughter of how I feel like I can, I can play this and they'll know what I feel for them even though I might not be able to find the words. I teach at ASU, so I teach a bunch of the um, class piano classes that are actually for non-piano majors, non-music majors actually. And I love it because these are classes where people really want to be there. They really want to learn how to play piano. So I teach, I teach all three levels, 100, 200, and 300. When I'm teaching, I know that my students can just sense who I am and how much I love piano and how much I love music and how much I want to help them be able to accomplish their own goals. I see them and that success and that pride and that achievement in that moment and I live off of that. And it's, it's so incredible to watch.